So the way I get into things, whether it be jackets, boots, shirts, pants, whatever, is I usually don't care about it and then it's all I think about for a really long time and recently my friend got these pair of Naked and Famous raw denim jeans and he was like, Mike, I'm shocked that you don't like raw denim or you're not into it yet and I was like, I, I know, that is... That is weird. But the reason is I can never or could never really justify spending more than like a hundred dollars on a pair of jeans. And for a good reason, I really don't ever look at my jeans as much. I'm more of a jacket guy. I love, 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 love jackets. But recently I started to get into denim jackets and then that naturally led to getting raw denim jeans. So I'll do some review on raw denim jackets later, Taylor Stitch, uh, 316, stuff like that. I have a few jackets from them, really, really good. So before we start, I actually love thrifting and looking for clothes at Savers or Goodwill or Value Village or whatever they're called for wherever you are. And, and I believe that if you look long enough for something that you're looking for, you will find it. I just think without a doubt, you'll find what you're looking for. It's happened to me with leather jackets, with boots, with shirts, with sweaters and stuff like that. Never jeans, because I never really looked for jeans and although these aren't the most expensive crazy jeans, yesterday I actually found a pair of Gap 1969 Japanese Selvage unwashed raw denim jeans and crazily enough tag and everything still on them. I got them for 11 bucks. I know there's some things we can get them that cheap anyways, but that's what I'm wearing today. Found them yesterday. Let's see if I can get the leg up for the Selvage. Oh yeah, oh yeah. By the way, that's what selvage is if you don't know. Oh god. Anyways, those are the raw denim jeans I'm wearing right now. I actually really like them. I tried to hem them myself yesterday. Didn't do a good job at all. So that's why they are pin rolled and rolled up pretty high, trying to hide that stitching. You'll see, I'll put them next to each other and I guess I'll wear no pants during this video, but you'll see that they're a little bit different colors, but they still have this kind of grayish, greenish look to them. The gap is a lot more green hues to them. The Levi 501s, the first real pair of jeans that there was, the classic ones, obviously they're a little bit different and I noticed that a lot of people on YouTube or viewers of YouTube that are watching Levi videos, the Levi 501 videos specifically, are like, oh, they don't make them like they used to. Back when I got them, they could stand straight up and if I let go, they would just stand right there, which is true, honestly. These are different than jeans in the 80s or the 70s. They're made different. Like I said, the biggest thing is that they are not selvage lines. Little cheaper construction, but if you really just wanna get into raw denim at, I think, under 50 bucks, I think I paid like $30 for these with no real special sale, they're just that cheap. Uh, you really can't beat a pair of Levi's for that. And there's something really special about a pair of Levi's considering that they are the first people to do jeans like this. As far as I know, they may not be, but they're the first. So they are the brand. They are the shot perfecto leather jackets of jeans. So, I mean, that's pretty cool to me at least. So these are gonna shrink a lot. Levi says go up one or two sizes in the waist and also go a little bit more length. I didn't listen to Levi at all because jeans are usually too long on me and I did read online that the waist of these stretches quite a bit. So I'm not too worried. I think when I first soak them, if I need to soak them, they'll shrink to my legs a lot and I'll have to stretch them out. But what are you gonna do? And the classic way to shrink these jeans is to put them on, fill a bathtub with as hot of water that you can stand Sit in it for 30 minutes, pull it out, and let your jeans shrink to around your body. I read online, and I read from a bunch of people that have done this, that if you do do that and you have these damp jeans, a lot of the times around the knees and around the butt is gonna really stretch out and look kinda weird. So I'm probably gonna soak these because I feel like they look really, really wide for some 29 inch waist jeans. So we'll see how much they shrink. I think I'm gonna try them on first and see how that goes. All right, so these are the Gap 1969. Japanese selvage ones. You can see, like I said, I pin rolled them so they look a little slimmer as we go down. I'm trying to model them as best I can so you can see. These are also a 31 inch waist and a 32 length. Although, like I said, I hemmed them to 30. So it's 31, 30. And uh, not bad, you know? They are pin rolled, like I said, so it slims down a little bit more than normal. But this is what they look like pretty normally. Not bad at all. Also, the Levi's and the Gaps are not washed, so they may slim down a little bit more. I believe the Gaps are Sam Fry's though. I'm not quite 100% sure on that, but I think they are. These are the Levi 511's. They are a slim taper jean in 30-30. Like I said, these are low rise, so I feel like they look a little different, but this is them. I've had them for two years, so they're pretty worn, pretty soft. They also have some stretch, so 
really nice. It's kind of like yoga pants. All right, and now we have the Levi 501 shrink to fit. As you can see, they're very wide. I didn't cuff them yet. I'm gonna cuff them actually here, so that way you can see if I pin roll them, if they are wearable. Right now, they're definitely not that wearable, at least for the style that I'm going for. Pretty wide, I don't really like that look. Close, but not really 100% what I want. Also, the waist, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to breathe when I shrink these, but uh, we'll see. Apparently, they stretch a lot. I read online that it's like the waist will come out like three or four inches, and. That's really all I need. These are not broken in or anything. This is the first time I wore them. Those gaps I've worn for like two days, so. All right, so here's them with a basic cuff. Fit a little better, feel a little better, honestly. It's all about length for me, I feel like. If it looks too long, the jeans just look bad. That's the first and foremost thing. And the cuff can't be like this thick, but this is them with the basic cuff. Still wider than I like, but they are shrink to fits. Pin roll. Okay, so this is them with a the pin roll cuff. A little better, but still, you can see it's really wide over here. This is definitely gonna shrink a ton, and they're gonna be pretty tight in the beginning, but I'll have to do a follow-up video with this when I break them in, and they loosen up a little bit, but slimmed them up a little bit. They do look quite, well, not quite a bit better, but a little better. And uh, I think the soak is really gonna help them a lot. Okay, so hi, and welcome to my bathroom. This is where we will be doing the shrinking process for the Levi 501s. Basically what I'm gonna do is get this water as hot as I can. I know people say the hotter it is, it'll shrink more. But honestly for me, that's fine. I'm looking for a maximum shrinkage, if you know what I mean. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna get this as hot as I can, put it in for an hour, and I also have three bowls with me. And the reason I have three bowls is because I'm gonna fill this up, put the jeans in, and part of the jeans are gonna float up and be a little out of the water, some will be in the water. I want it all completely submerged, so I'll put these bowls on top of it and let it soak for one hour. As hot as this water goes, the water at my house isn't crazy hot, but definitely not something you can like stand in for a really long time, but it's pretty hot. Okay, so quick change. I actually was reading articles online and they said an hour is kind of overkill. They said 20, 30 minutes should be good. So I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna hang them outside. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm gonna hang these outside, let them get as dry as I can get them, and then I'll put them on. You'll see the water's like pretty blue, got some indigo, which is a good sign. And uh, I believe the shrinking process really happens when they're drying. And it's really important actually to soak these guys because I was reading still online that uh, makes the jean and actually the denim itself a lot stronger, a lot less prone to tears and rips and stuff like that. And I know sometimes you want those in jeans, but uh, with this fit, there's a little too loose anyway, so I'd rather have a pair of well-fitting jeans over getting those rips and tears. But if it was a little bit more fitted, like the Gap jeans I have on right now, I probably would have skipped this step just because these aren't my work jeans, so if they rip, it's whatever. I'll probably think it's cool. But anyways, gonna take these out and uh, put them outside. Also, a little side fact. I'm not sure if you've ever heard the saying that cotton kills. It's like more important when you're outdoors, but you could tell why cotton kills. I mean, this is super heavy from getting wet and doesn't insulate at all when wet. So don't do this to your jeans when you're out hiking the Appalachian Trail or something like that, because you'll die. So with that disclaimer out of the way, also, these are pretty slimy. Don't know if that's something that uh, is normal, but a little slimy. Okay, so I'm hiding in the shade right now because if my white shirt hits the light, I literally could go supernova. It's so hot out here and bright, but it's about 3 p.m., so the sun's kind of not setting, but not as strong as it was. Basically, all I wanted to say was when you're drying these, to get them to dry a little bit faster, open the leg up. I opened this one already, but basically, Open it like this, stick your hand inside, and just kind of open it like that. Really all that does is create more airflow, so that way they'll dry a little bit faster. And it looks like there's someone sitting on your porch, so it's a little scarier. Anyways, we'll see how these dry, we'll see how they look. I'll try to get a shot of the blue when it's wet, because it just looks gorgeous. I just didn't like jeans for a while or didn't care about jeans. Now I freaking love them. They're so cool. Anyways, here we go. Alright, so the jeans have dried. Didn't actually take that long. I had a pair that I thought were shrink to fits. Also, I know the microphone kind of sucks if I don't get in front of it. Uh, they only took like two hours to dry. Not that bad at all. I had a different pair that I tried to dry once inside and it took like nine hours, but the sun and the wind and stuff really speeds up the process. They don't look like they've shrunk 
really that much. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to put them on now to see, but they look still pretty wide, pretty long, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to wash them again or something. If they are big this time, I'm just going to throw them in the hot wash and dry them in the actual dryer and see what happens. But we're going to try them on and see how it goes. So I'm going to take off my pants for the camera here. Oh, yep. They definitely shrunk at least a little bit. All right, so trying to button them up. Oh. Yeah, they definitely really form-fitted to the body here. We're two buttons up, I got four, as you know. <laughs> Hands do not fit in Ugh, my pockets. <sighs> one in, the second one in. Oh, okay. Okay, buttoned. <laughs> oh my God. It's like someone's punching me in the stomach. All right, gonna zoom out, show you the pants a little bit. All right, here they are. Actually, maybe they have shrunk a little bit. Definitely around the waist, because I'm gonna fuck, oh God, I'm gonna throw up, they're so tight. Lengthwise, looks pretty much the same. They're definitely a little stiffer. Not quite sure, gonna roll them, cup them up. Now, I can't really tell from the camera how they look. I think they look pretty good. Definitely did slim up. I don't know what I was thinking a second ago when I didn't say, when I said they didn't. But, uh, yeah, I think I like them. It really doesn't look like length shrank much at all. Maybe I didn't do it right. I think, I mean, it's a pretty simple instruction. I probably did it right, but, yeah, I mean, they look good. They look good to me. Like I said, they're cuffed twice. I'm trying to stretch them out as I talk, so that way I can breathe better, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really not that constricting at all. 29, 30 length, or whatever I said the length was, but I dig them. Those are my Levi 501s. I, uh, I'm gonna follow this video up, or just really add on a little clip at the end, so this isn't the goodbye. I'll check in after a week to see if they've stretched it all, tell you how they feel up here, but that's my Levi 501s. Let's see what next week looks like. Okay, so this is a week later and these are the 501s. There's something I do need to disclaim. I tapered the leg down, so that's why they look thin down here, but up here, up in the upper thigh and the waist has definitely stretched out. I can wear a belt and it's not bad at all. I'm not choking or dying or gonna throw up. And uh, 501s are great. I feel like they're great looking jeans. They're cheap. Um, I know they're cheap because before I actually tapered these, the original seam right here was splitting open on like the second day I had them. So they're definitely cheap jeans. We'll see how long they last me. Hopefully they last me long enough to get some cool fades, but here's what they look like. Again, I know it's a little unfair because of the taper, but you did see it before without the taper. And uh, yeah, they loosened up and they're feeling pretty good. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you like this and uh, I'll make more.